Readings for the day, 2022, on Tuesday, September 27th. The readings from the regular cycle, the epistle. Tuesday of the 16th week. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Galatians. Brethren, if I still preach circumcision, why am I still persecuted? In that case, the stumbling block of the cross has been removed. I wish those who settle, I wish those who unsettle you would mutilate themselves, for you were called to freedom, brethren, only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love be servants of one another, for the whole law is fulfilled in one word, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you are not consumed by one another. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to prevent you from doing what you would. But... If you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are plain, fornication, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, anger, selfishness, dissension, party spirit, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The Gospel, Tuesday of the second week of Luke. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus was in one of the cities. There came a man full of leprosy, and when he saw Jesus, he fell on his face and besought him, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And he stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. And he charged him to tell no one, but go and show yourself to the priest and make an offering for your cleansing, as Moses commanded, for a proof to the people. But But so much more the report went abroad concerning him, and great multitudes gathered to hear and to be healed of their infirmities. But we withdrew, but he withdrew to the wilderness and prayed. The readings for the commemoration, the epistle for the martyr. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Galatians. Brethren, See with what large letters I am writing to you with my own hand. It is those who want to make a good showing in the flesh that would compel you to be circumcised, and only in order that they may not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. For even those who receive circumcision do not themselves keep the law, but they desire to have you circumcised, that they may glory in your flesh. But... Far be it from from me to glory, except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For neither circumcision counts for anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creation. Peace and mercy be upon all who walk by this rule, upon the God, the Israel, Upon the Israel of God, henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear on my body the marks of Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brethren. Amen. (coughs) It is appropriate to stand for the reading of the Synaxarion. Synaxarion from the Menaion. On September 27th, we commemorate the holy martyr, Calistratus and the 49 martyrs with him. On this day we also commemorate the holy woman martyr Epicarus. On this day we also 
commemorate our devout father, St. Ignatius, abbot of the Monastery of the Savior Christ, which is called the Monastery of the Deep Stream. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Apostles Mark, Aristarchos, and Zeno. On this day, we commemorate the Holy Martyrs Philemon the Bishop and Fortunianus, and the Holy Woman Martyr Guyana. On this day, we also remember the 15 martyrs who were put on a ship which was set on fire and then drowned at sea. On this day, the holy neo-martyr Achillina the Virgin, who died in the year 1764. By the intercessions of your saints, O God, <coughs> have mercy on us. Amen. Fasting rule is fast free, all foods allowed.